thought that a conservative Republican senator who is basically in the pocket of the big energy companies would turn out to be the biggest challenger to the Tea Party movement in 2010. Well, that's the reality. In Alaska, Senator Lisa Murkowski, who was defeated in the Republican primary by a Tea Party-backed candidate named Joe Miller, who was also a favorite of former Governor Sarah Palin, has decided to run a write-in campaign to try and save her seat. Now, there's a lot of people who say, oh, write-in campaigns don't have a chance. It's not going to happen. But Murkowski's in a unique situation, and it's one we should be paying attention to. She is mounting her campaign as a genuine challenge to the Tea Party movement and to Palin. She's putting it in those terms. She's also got a lot of money, enough to do a major advertising campaign in Alaska. And finally, she's got something that a lot of political players don't keep up with, and that's social media. One of the things that we lose sight of is the notion that politics changes, the way we communicate changes. And write-in campaigns, once easily written off as too complicated, too hard to communicate about, are much easier to communicate about and to get uh, people engaged with in an area, era of email, Facebook, Twitter, all sorts of other vehicles by which we can communicate about how to do a write-in. Murkowski's counting on this. She's putting together what looks like a very sophisticated campaign. I don't know if she's going to win, and frankly, I don't know if she should win. But what I can tell you is that this effort is a fascinating one, not just because of its challenge to the Tea Party movement, but also because of what it says about how we may be able to do politics in the 21st century, breaking rules, doing things that were once written off as impossible. I'm keeping an eye on Alaska, and I think a lot of other people will as well. This is John Nichols for Grit TV.